Good morning and welcome back. On our last episode, we discovered the manual speed settings and the nudge feature on this Thunderbolt. Really helpful in trying to find an exacting spot on your material. If you're watching that episode, you'll notice that I demonstrated it on a round slate coaster. I eyeballed the center of the coaster. And some of you might have noticed, I didn't find the center. <laughs> My graphic is far too left and far too low. But if you're using Lightburn software, there's a simple and easy tool in there that will find the exact center for you to set your origin on any type of a circular piece of material. I'm going to show you that today here on Laser Nug. I'm still trying to perfect my settings for slate coasters, so we're going to use it again today. I do not want to engrave on these rough outer edges. I just want to make sure that my graphic stays on the flat surface. I've already measured it. It's exactly three and a half inches in diameter. So we're going to jump into light burn. I'm still trying to perfect the settings for these slate coasters. So we're going to use the same logo, which is my logo, because I think it's important to keep the same type of graphic while you're trying to find your settings. I'll take my circle shape. I'll highlight it. If you go to the right, the screen here you'll see that I already provided it a color I created it as a frame because I I want to see it but I don't want to engrave it I just need it as kind of a guide for my logo I'm going to come over here to the top left and I want my circle to be three and a half inches I've left the lock on here because I want it to keep its shape I'm going to take my logo and I'm going to drag it in. I'm not too good at centering things. So what I can do is I can leave this highlighted. I'm also going to highlight the circle and I'm going to come up to the top of the screen. You'll see this little bullseye and I'm going to click that and you'll see it moved my logo. That logo is now exactly in the center of that circle. Now that I have everything highlighted, I'm going to group it. And so I have my logo, it's sized correctly, right to the very edge actually. And I have the frame just for reference in blue. So now I want to make sure it's centered exactly in the middle of my slate coaster. I'm going to come up here to the top toolbar under laser tools. I'm going to click here. If you go right down to the bottom, you'll see a feature called center finder. I'm going to click that center finder. You've got four steps to do here. You need to find three spots on the very edge of the coaster and set them, and then you're going to jog your laser to the middle. Then we'll change your origin, and then we're going to engrave our coaster. Let's take our coaster over to the laser and find that first spot. I'm going to place my coaster anywhere I want on the honeycomb, and now I want to move my laser over to it. I'm going to go into manual here and I'm going to use my nudge controls. So I'm going to unlock and I'm slowly going to move the laser until I get exactly on the edge. Now that I've found a spot, I run back to light burn. I'm going to click set first circle point. Now it's asking me for another circle point. So I'm going to find any random point a little further away. So I'm going to run down a bit, maybe come down just a wee bit more. Go back to my nudge controls and I believe I have, we'll go back, perfect. I'm going to go back into light burn, confirm my second point. Now it's asking me for my third and final point. And I'm going to do that on the other side so I can run across here. Maybe I'll move it up a bit. As I get close to the edge, I'm going to go back into my nudge control. That's perfect. I'm going to click set and now you'll see it's asking you to jog to circle center I'm gonna click that and watch what happens to the laser it moves itself to the very center of the circle now I'm gonna click OK and if I highlight my graphic you've probably learned now that this little green square that you always see that's your origin set you want to put your origin to the center of your graphic to match to the origin you just set using the circle finder. If you come down to the bottom right of your screen, you'll see your job origin. 
you're going to click center. You'll see now if you look back at your graphic, your green dot is right in the center of it. Now we're ready to send it to the laser. I'm going to click send. You're going to hear it beep. We're ready to engrave. I mentioned previously, I believe a slate coaster is a reflective type of material, so it might be a good idea to put your laser goggles on. We're about ready to engrave, but keep in mind, you can't engrave or it will not turn on unless you take your screen back to the home screen. That'll automatically lock your nudge commands and it gets it ready to engrave. We're gonna run through our typical routine. I'm gonna press my origin button. I'm gonna frame it. That's perfect. And then I need to autofocus. Okay. Well, that certainly beats eyeball at it. That is dead center. Excellent. Also wanted to leave you with one other piece of information if you're brand new to your Thunderbolt like I am. The owner's manual is gonna tell you not to block these vents on the top as well as the fan vent on the right-hand side. I think it's important you leave them open as I have here. The machine is relatively quiet, but it generates a lot of heat when it's running and it heats up a room pretty quick. So I think it's pretty important that you make sure that you have not placed these vents directly underneath a cabinet or in any type of an enclosure. Leave them wide open so it's got a lot of air and a lot of ventilation. Thanks for sticking around with me again today. I hope you found the information informative and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Being new to the Bolt, it's an easy project, gives us an opportunity to try a few of the functions and features we've learned so far in Lightburn, as well as some of the features we've unlocked on the Bolt.